I'm gonna be spending a whole year of my life to be making my dream game from scratch. What a stupid idea. My dream all started when I saw a huge explosion throughout the internet about an idea called the back rooms. The back rooms is an idea of an endless maze of yellow walls that involves into infinite potential level, each with their own potential entities. And I was like, yeah, let's just make this into a game, right? Here's my goal list. Make some interesting levels, have multiple monsters that look breedable, our own special UI system, have our own unique lore, be able to torture my friends in multiplayer. And lastly, no battle passes, no NFTs, and no microtransactions! This is a huge list to accomplish, especially coming from a guy who just throws brain rot onto the internet. And the hardest part is that I'm not a good programmer. Are you serious? I took computer science in college, but like, I'm not smart enough to make a game, especially the dream game. So I hunted down some developers, held them hostage, and forced them to make our dream vision come true. And now I'm forcing you to join us on this journey. And I will share countless amount of bugs, issue, and suffering. We all had to go through to make this game possible. But it will be worth it at the end as we'll try to create the funniest horror game to date. <laughs> oh, he glitching. Oh, yeah, he's just glitching. Okay. okay. <laughs> it got so bad at times, my PC nearly just exploded. Let's start with the levels. Most back rooms are a maze type shape that you need to explore to find the exit. We want to do multiple levels, but we decided to start off with the most recognizable office level, which is filled with yellow walls and a damn carpet. A nine to five office worker's worst nightmare. But the thing is, I didn't want you to solve it and then never want to play it again because you already know how to beat it. Instead, I want it to be random every single time you played it. This is called procedural generation. 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 Like Minecraft. This means every time I walk forward, I would always load a new random chunk. So this means every time you load up our maze level, you would get something different. As simple as that sounds, we have never done this before. We had to watch several YouTube channels of people way smarter than us. So we ended up just copying some open source code, twisting it a little bit, and it actually worked. You can now be lost in this maze forever. Even though we were being inspired by the back rooms, one of our goal checklist items is to create our own lore. This also also means that this level and future levels will be a lot different than whatever was written into the wiki. So stick around because we're going to be making some of the weirdest levels and monsters you have ever seen. And you should subscribe for, you know, future updates. Back to the office, we decided to spice it up and add some doors and even vents that you could crawl in because why not? I mean, it's our game. On top of that, after a bit of coding, if you spend way too long in the back rooms without finding an exit, you would die from losing your sanity. Obviously, this is just a game feature because I lost my sanity years ago and and yet I'm still here. But even with that feature, turns out just walking in a maze endlessly is pretty boring. That's why we gotta jump over to our goal list and spice it up with some <coughs> monsters. You see that epic clap transition? Well, that was an entire month going by just to add this monstrosity to the game. I literally drew and requested hundreds of different concepts until there was a monster I was genuinely happy with. This now ties into our goal list because like we said, we wanted to create our own unique lore, meaning a lot of the monsters we'll add are actually completely original. And the monster we're starting with is what this game is all revolving around. Meet Benny. He looks like a huggable toy at first until you learn about his lore throughout the levels and he becomes something terrifying. You must be asking, is this just another mascot horror game? Well, I mean, yes, but what? what's the problem, huh? What's the issue? But let me explain why. Whenever people do backrooms monster concepts, they always do something horrifying. I wanted to do the exact opposite approach and do something that looked friendly at first. Think about it. If you were trapped in the backrooms for years and years, you would probably want to make some friends. This is just the start of Benny's lore and I will reveal more top secret information throughout this video. Anyway, our, our team has no idea how to animate. Are you, are you kidding me? So we're just going some animation presets and yeah, Look at this goofy guy. He looks like he's about to give me a high five. And yeah, I guess I have to check his vent animation and oh my God, what am I witnessing right now? Obviously his animations are perfect and if you disagree with me, you're wrong. I mean, I might just crawl after you like that if you don't subscribe right now. So now after almost two months, you can now jump into the first level and try to find the exit. And what is even more perfect is that every time I relaunch this level, it's different. But this time, as you're searching through the maze, oops, 
Your loud chase have alerted Benny, and he's gonna chase you now. And you have to do your best to outmaneuver him. I mean, you could try to run away, but oh my, did Benny just face through the wall? And if he catches you, he's supposed to kill you, but right now he just does his dance move on you, okay? He's just trying to show him off. He worked hard on him. Benny, I mean, Benny, what, is, what are you doing, man? I mean, like I said, he's perfect. We decided that we were gonna spend some more weeks on Benny, especially the fact that he's not scary right now. His animations were off, his AI was meh, and it was obvious missing music. Now, I could be making my own fire tracks, but I think it would be funnier to hold a music composer hostage and force him to create tracks for Benny. And not just for him, the entire game. Let's take a listen to that ambience. Ooh, that does get me in the mood. We threw the tracks in and also added some more AI in, including wandering around and investigating. Sort of looks like you looking for your father. Yes, that's the way he looks around. Don't laugh at him, okay? He's trying. But if you stay in the line of sight of him for too long, the music kicks in and he chases you down and you get danced on to death. His AI is literally perfect and doesn't need any sort of improvement. So it's been a couple months now and we still have to do so much to complete this game. We have part of a level, a monster, monster, and I guess some of the lore is written, but none of it's very polished yet. So that's what we did before tapping into something new. We polished up Benny's AI so he doesn't face through walls and like a million other bugs. We made the office look much cleaner and threw more furniture that you could see in an office to fill it out. We even continued writing out the lore for Benny for how he got his name and even how he got into the back room. But all of this was great, but we didn't want to move on until we had at least one polished level. So even though if you found the exit of the back rooms, we wanted to make it a tad bit more difficult. So we added puzzles into the game, yay! This way, the exit doors do not open until you beat the puzzle in that maze. This causes a lot more encounters with Big Green Daddy as you're trying to solve this puzzle when trying to escape this maze. If you're, yeah, if you're such a it's genius. Right. If you're right here. Literally right oh my here. gosh, oh, wow. we're so good at this, what? Wow. I'm not going to go back. Oh, 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 you guys go back. Oh, <laughs> Take a look at one of our puzzles where you have to find three codes around the map and bring it to a PC to exit. But these could be anywhere in the maze and you have a giant lurking monster trying to find you. Oh, there's another, there's another. Three is eye, three is eye. Okay. Oh, oh, oh that way. No, 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 no. <laughs> This truly creates a suspenseful experience when you're trying to dial in and solve a puzzle and there might be a giant green guy right behind you. So with all that, we could successfully say we have completed one of the first levels, which means we can move on to some more fun stuff like a UI system. Part of the UI is actually the menu. So we added this sick elevator that you have to get in before you enter the level. When you get in, it plays this dope music. I mean, this is a perfect time to tell you to subscribe. But when the doors open, it reveals the level and it just creates all this hype. We now have a game loop. Woo! Yeah, we're doing something. You get into the elevator, you enter a level, you beat the puzzle, try not to die, escape, repeat. So before we decided to add more levels, you know we had to add multiplayer. Any programmer knows the amount of pain and suffering required to get multiplayer working, but it's all gonna be worth it to see your friends being tortured. Oh. Throughout this video, I'm just gonna throw in clips of me torturing my friends, and you can see how the game is improving. Oh my god, look at that. Let me just walk in. It's like this chunk. This chunk is just tickling all over the place. Like, I just wanna touch it. And I'm gonna, I don't know. Out of it. <laughs> anyway, it was finally time to finish one of our goals, which was leveled, and added some new ones. Introducing the hotel looks so much nicer when it's actually done by a professional. Yeah, that one be oh, oh my god. Oh, it's like an hotel room. Oh, oh, oh my god. Then we just smacked his face against the wall. Unlike the office level, this place has much longer hallways, like, you know, an actual hotel. It's filled with a bunch of things you would find in a hotel, like hotel rooms, chairs, suitcases, the list goes on. Not only is it just a maze, you can actually go through some unlocked doors and find some really weird things you wouldn't find in an actual hotel. It adds to this inception feel. And what's nice about new levels is that there's different unique puzzles as well. On the hotel level, there's a puzzle where you have to collect the correct hotel keys to unlock the elevator door. Or even better, literally find suitcases and deliver them to the drop-off point. You can live off your fantasy as a hotel worker, but now there's a big green daddy also in the hotel with you. It's 73. No, 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 no! Wow, what way you get me? 
And don't forget, since this is procedurally generated, it's random every single time. And since the hotel is the second level, you can now see Benny's getting a bit more rough. Each level you progress, you can see Benny actually revealing his truer form. So on the last level, he's going to look like your average British person. Moving on, we even added a pipes level which is definitely one of the more creepier levels. This is what it feels like to be under James Charles sewer line. And also where I hold my artist hostage to get work done. This level is filled with a waterish floor and a bunch of sewer pipes everywhere, which is exactly what I would think a pipe level would look like. No, 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 no! Leave me alone! Leave me alone! Leave me alone! You gotta throw do something at him. Oh, 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 oh. You can even see a bunch of dead Alcazar scientists, which all goes part of our lore. The Alcazar because our scientists were one of the first teams to explore the back rooms and were also the people that found Benny. And obviously, it ended up in a disaster for them. My favorite has to be the puzzles on this level, which really fit the theme. Like for this puzzle, you have to fix the steam coming out of this pipe. And you gotta do this all over the maze for the exit to open. That's the last one, that must be the last one. Oh, 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 yes, yes, you yes, got yes. it. You actually got it? Now what? Oh wait, oh my Why god. Here? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> There's still a lot more being added to this pipe's level, but it's looking pretty good. So let's add one more level, since I guess we have time. One of the final levels we added is frozen food. We added it because I'm obsessed with food. I love food. This place is stacked with all your favorite food items like BBs and Brussels sprouts. This reminds me that one time I got lost as a kid from my mom, so I just started crying. But this time, if you start crying, Benny will find you and he will eat you. You can also see now that Benny is a lot more adorable. He's really got that gamer posture and everything. Benny really looking just like me when I'm walking down the kitchen at 3 a.m. for a snack. He's moving a lot quicker than he is in the previous level. So as the levels go on, Benny's AI actually gets more difficult. Just like your local grocery store, you gotta solve hit puzzles. Like, put the carts back in the cart receiver. I know, I'm just chock full of just Great ideas. There's also a bunch of other puzzles, but I think we can successfully say that the frozen food level is one of the best levels. And we did it. I think we can check off one of our first goals, which is level. I wish I could take all the credit, but I guess I'll thank the artists. I mean, I guess I'll allow them to see their family for a day or something. But what is the point of having all these levels if we only have one monster? We need more pain and suffering. I went back into my drawing phase and got a lot of concepts and ideas, and some we don't need to talk about. So imagine you're an artist and I send you this image. Imagine you're a monster hanging from the roof, and if you were to run under him, he would join you. And they send back this. Not bad, right? Introducing Roof Guy! Woo! His name is not determined yet, okay? We haven't finished writing the lore. You must be asking, who's this cute little guy and how could I get his number? Well, first off, you're not getting it, okay? He's mine. And secondly, if you really want, just ask him yourself, okay? He's literally just hanging from the roof. He cannot move. All he does is hide in the ceiling, and if you walk under him, you could even go and say hello. But he's a bit shy, so don't expect a response right away. Help <laughs> But you know what he hates more than anything? Loud neighbors. If you run down the hallways making a ruckus, he grabs you from the ceiling and he makes out with you until you die. The only way to get past him is literally just walk or even sneak under him. He doesn't really have an animation yet, so right now all he does is touch you and you go flying. This adds way more diversity to the game. That way, if you go to the back rooms, not only do you have to avoid this giant green blob, but you also might get ripped from the ceiling. Oh my god! Why is he there again? Why did he sprint? <laughs> Guys, I died. You died too? <laughs> but I realized this isn't enough. We need more chaos. We only have four levels, but only two monsters? We gotta balance this out. As you've probably seen, we added vents into Benny's back rooms. One, because it helps you travel through the rooms, and secondly, it helps you hide from potential threats. And yes, it's hilariously terrifying to see Benny crawl in the vents after you. And ooga booga, brain thought, what if we made it even more chaotic? What if we add an entity that lives in the vents? What a dumb idea, and I hate myself forever. Introducing Vent Monster! Woo! I'm extremely creative with my names. Imagine you're walking through the back rooms and you see a pair of eyes in the vents. But what if you didn't notice the pair of eyes and you accidentally open it? Kaboom! 
you would die from an explosion of tentacles coming out of this guy. Imagine if someone broke into your house, huh? Would you not do the same? And you know what's even funnier? Watching him kill someone without the tentacle animation. There's nothing here. <laughs> What the f I actually skipped. I saw eyes through there and I told you to go <laughs> This will make you think twice before running into the vents thinking you are safe. Now we got Benny, we got the roof guy, and we even got the vent monster. And we plan to add even more monsters, but it's a lot of work, you know? I mean, come on. But we still have time to add one of the coolest features to the game yet. But before we did that, we just did a bit more polishing to make everything just look a little bit nicer. Benny has his multiple forms and he's been face maxing, okay? Look, he, he looks a lot more Chad. And thanks to the teams of artists and animators I'm holding hostage, the animations actually make Benny look like he's in the game. And same with the other monsters. And with the sounds, it's actually terrifying hearing Benny just walk around. So now that this polishing is making the game look a bit better, we can now finally add the best feature in the game, the UI. We're not gonna just do your boring UI system where you just press escape and the settings go up. Introducing the phone. Pick up the phone, baby. No, 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 not your phone, okay? An Alcazar phone. Well, what can it do? More like, what can't it do? It has a bunch of apps just like any other phone, but you can actually use all of these in game. And you can send love messages to your friends. Oh, I got a message. Hi, hi, hi. Get out. <laughs> you can even send silly images of yourself at point five and have everyone just compliment you. You can even play some of the hardest tracks of the 21st century. One of the best features is this map feature showing the rooms you explored and the puzzles that you need to solve. Yeah, That's and sick. as your little character, look at our little characters. <laughs> this has to be the best feature because you can actually see your little character as a little pixel guy walking around and it's just so adorable. This also makes exploring the mazes a lot more fun. That way you don't get lost exploring the same thing a million times and you can get all of this for a small price of 50,000 USD. Still way cheaper than American healthcare. I'm just glad how the phone turned out because it went from something that doesn't even look like a phone to something that might be usable. I just trust everyone will use the phone responsibly and not draw horrible things on the images. Right guys? So that wraps up our entire checklist. We got levels, we got monsters, we got lore, we got a UI system, we got multiplayer. You can explore through the back room solve puzzles, avoid entities, watch your friends die. <laughs> And we're going to be adding a lot more. This is just the beginning. So make sure to wishlist the game on Steam so you can be the first players to play it when it goes out in June. Plus, we'll give out free skins to the first players. Anyway, check out the first trailer right here. The start of Benny's lore. 